very happy to be in Spain, and I'm very happy to be in Barcelona, especially. The last time we saw you in Spain was at Rotterdam in 2011, is that right? Rotatom. That is right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. At that time on stage, you were presenting new songs. There was um, uh, two two CDs and one because you made us a crisis price. Yeah. <laughs> so there was. Um, um, well, you know, been been trying to get that project to the people, and you know, been having a little resistance from the record company. So. We're looking forward to getting um, the album out in October um, and then hopefully I'll be able to follow the Roots album early um, in 2015. Okay. You know, so still looking forward to bringing out the two albums, just maybe not in the same format as I would have wished, but definitely it will be coming. I see, I see. Yeah. So it's... The evolution to a re of a revolution. Well, the next and album will be titled Rasmantic. It's, it's, it's definitely um, strongly reggae influenced, and with the coloring of you know uh, maybe a different genres here and there, but just the coloring. But it will be uh, a reggae album that is you know very 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 rootsy, but very still have. Uh, an international crass flavor to it. Yeah. That sounds like very. Uh, we want to hear the noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, are we going to hear some songs on tonight? Stage? Yes, yeah. you will hear some tonight. Last Monday. Right, and then the album after that will be Evolution of a Revolution. Yeah. I remember like um, filming one song, it's called Armed and Dangerous. Yeah. So that was more the. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Can I say heavy part? It, yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It had a little, definitely had a rock feel to it as well with you know the the, the hip hop drums and we'll play that song tonight as well. You know? <laughs> okay, yeah. I look forward to that. Um, right. Is it fair enough to say that like a message, like armed and dangerous, yeah. to like a reggae message because yes we we do want to overthrow Babylon isn't it right so we are armed and dangerous because right. we're equipped maybe with our minds yeah um, absolutely right so, so being armed doesn't necessarily mean with a weapon you know because like you say we can be armed with intelligence you know we're armed with the power of love we're armed with unity we're armed with spirituality, you know what I mean? We're armed with, 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 with the drive to overcome, right. So that is, that is cool, because then a reggae message, yeah. reggae or Rasta message, See it. Can, go in, can go through rock. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> how you feel or how do you experience this new youth coming, I'm speaking of Protégé, Chronics, Kabbalah. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I love it. You know, reggae music is alive and well and thriving. And, you know, the new youths of the next generation, you know, are keeping that message, are keeping that, the, the, the light shining. You know what I mean? And keeping that positive music going. So it is, it is, it is a wonderful thing, you know, because just like the generation before, before me, you know, that I come and embrace and, and, and look up to and, you know, wanted to make sure that I am a revolutionary within the revolution. And therefore, you know, comes Chronics and come Protégé and come Ayatine and come Raging Fire and Revolution and so many more. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're, we're there when, hey, listen, when God work is to be done, you know, nothing can stop that. And so the fighters shall always be on the forefront. There was kind of a break, or not, not as much new mm. artists coming on the scene. No, well, I wouldn't and say there was a break from new artists coming. I just say that society choose to put certain music on the forefront. So these new artists who are coming and carrying that torch, you don't hear as much as the ones who are coming and not really saying anything to benefit mankind or, you know, to benefit humanity. And those are the ones that the system puts on the forefront so they keep us from, 
from thinking. They keep us from wanting. They, they, they take away the music that makes us want to better ourselves and gives us the music that is bullshit. Right, so we, you know, we have always been there, whether in the shadows or in the light. Those who fight for righteousness and those who believe in righteousness, we are always there, you know? But sometimes the light is shining elsewhere. But we are always there still. I see. Do you, do you have a reasoning for that? Why maybe society was not that Yeah, because the control, you know? It's, it's, it's about controlling. You know, so the, 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 the bigger heads who control the system, in order to control us, first you have to control the mind. You know, so if the mind is not one of the revolution, if the mind is not one of free spirit and free will, if the mind is willing to be, what I would say, you know, to be ruled by others and to be told what to do, then that is what who is ruling would like. You know, something easier to control. So when you have music like Marley, or when you have music like, um, for instance, out of, um, out of America, rap music such as Tupac, people who want you to, to better yourself, you know what I mean, and to, to stand for something or fall for anything. You know, well, those are the music that they don't want us to listen to. Yeah, because those are the music that will make us stand up and, 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 and fight the system. So they don't want that. We know that music is the most powerful way to relay a message. Yeah. Because everyone listens to music. Not everyone will listen to someone, a speaker, stand up and speak. But at some point of the day, everyone wants to hear a music. Mm -hmm. So if you put the message in the music, then that is the most powerful way to relay it. Mm 